welcome back to Carol Living. Thank you for supporting us. Thank you for subscribing. Today we are sharing Carol Living signature muffin. Every time I have posted muffins on Facebook, everybody's like, like it just catches fire. It's like, uh, it's that thing that, it's that sweetness that everyone needs. And we also have to remember it's holiday season. The children are back home, holiday makers are back home and they need some healthy snacks to like munch at with all the time they'll have to play and just get hungry. You know what I'm talking about parents. So today we're going to share the recipe of the Carol Living Signature Muffin so that we can all be able to bake and, and just enjoy this goodness. So we're just going to go ahead and start the mixing process. So we have two wooden bowls. One is going to be used for uh, making the wet ingredients. The other is going to be used for the dry ingredients. So in one big bowl, it's, it, you choose the big one because you know that eventually the dry ingredients will be transferred to that bowl. So the bigger bowl, you start with your wet ingredients. So you get four ripe bananas. I insist that bananas have to be really ripe, like a little more ripe. Because if they are not so ripe, it's very, hard to, it's very hard to mash them and they can't like get lost in the muffin when it bakes. So they have to be really ripe. You notice that they have a bit of spotting that is intentional. So four ripe bananas, mash them with a fork. Yeah, mash them with a fork. You can use a whisk if you have one, but a fork is just good. And after mashing, don't over mash, just mash like through one round through. And then you add, you add the melted butter as per the ingredients, you add the melted butter. Then you add the sugar, you add the two eggs, you add the four tablespoons of vegetable oil. You can use any healthy vegetable oil. Four tablespoons are sufficient. To, it all normally will give it like a soft, fluffy, and like really tender. Tender. The oil gives it a tenderness that is really nice. So vegetable oil is, is key for that. And then also you add the water. Yeah, I insist also that water is good to like increase its tenderness. And in this case, we're just using about half a cup of water, as you notice. Uh, after having all these ingredients in one bowl, you set aside, don't mix them, don't mix them, just set them aside, and then in the other bowl, we mix our dry ingredients. And our dry ingredients, we basically mix the flour, which is basically one cup and three quarters of baking flour in one bowl, and then we add uh, two, one tablespoon full of baking powder, and then one teaspoonful of baking powder and one teaspoonful of baking soda. I like to use this mix. There are many people who would prefer maybe one of, of, of maybe the two teaspoons of either. But for me, I, I like the mix. It, the baking soda, like it helps it to like puff up, but also the powder helps it to give the aeration required for the banter. So you mix those two dry ingredients. You add a half a teaspoon of salt as well. Then you add some spicing, of course, the cinnamon, half a teaspoon. The, I'm choosing a cinnamon. I'm choosing uh, also soya kawa. I'm also choosing a bit of uh, uh, the soya kawa and then the cocoa powder. The cocoa powder is unsweetened. Just make sure you get the unsweetened one because it, it's versatile. You can use in different ingredients without having to worry so much about the sweetened one. So after adding those, you whisk them. You whisk them through and through in the dry bowl when you feel like it's mixed well and then you pour them incrementally, little by little, in the wet ingredients and start whisking. Little as you whisk, little as you whisk, it helps it to really, really, really like uh, mix well. So you whisk for some time, like possibly two minutes really. Uh, for many cake related banters, you don't need to over mix, otherwise you can get like the gluten out and then it will just become mushy. So it doesn't require over mixing. Two minutes of constant mixing and just ensuring you turn around, turn around the banter and just the sides in and mix through it. Two minutes should be good as long as you're mixing constantly. Two minutes should do. And so, after whisking those, that ingredient, the banter is ready. You'll notice it may be a bit lumpy, it has a bit of lumps like the bananas, but it's okay, it's part of the, the goodness. So you, 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 you put it aside, and then you'll have your pre-buttered cake cup pan. 
I did this earlier such that because it takes forever but basically you just get the cake pan before you add anything it's dried out you like brush it with some butter or vegetable oil in this case I use vegetable oil and then also in you put the pepper cups and then in the pepper cups you brush the vegetable oil as well so for us today the our cake pan is ready with its liners the paper liners and um, we're ready to just transfer in the, the cake banter so we just kind of scoop two level I'm using a soup spoon so two level soup spoon in each of those cups and it's like at about two-thirds full after you have scooped in all of them making sure that you're a little bit like fair make sure you are uh, it's it's evenly put like do not put much in one and then less in the other you then um, put in some filling and for me today I said to use two types of fillings and I decided that in six six of the muffins I will put chocolate chips and then in the other six I'll have put raisins so basically I, raisins obtained from the market by the way all these ingredients are very available in the market I went to the market this morning so they are very available and in our local farmers markets so you put all these fillings and then in each of the cups you add like just a half the soup spoon of the cake banter that will have been left in the bowl and then now you give it a topping and for me my my top my choice of topping was the dried fruit i have i have used it in different cakes and and, and and other bakeries and i just baked goods and i feel like it just brings out the color it gives it like a level of decor garnish and it's by the way sweet and tasty so i topped it with the dried fruit and then like when they are ready to like go into the oven remember you'll be preheating the oven for about 15 minutes at 180 degrees by the way the, the principle around baking is that every time when you're going to bake you preheat the oven for about 15 minutes the temperatures matter depending on what you're going to cook or bake or grill however the principle of preheating is always that whatever goes in should find the oven at a particular the temperature you're going to cook it at that's basically the, the principle the oven should be found at the temperature you're going to cook it at that's the principle so the preheated oven for 15 minutes at 180 degrees is ready we will transfer our cake pan right in there and allow the muffins to bake for about 18 to 20 minutes if you have like a glass a viewing glass you will always be able to see so but at about 16 minutes 15 16 you will notice that the aroma starts to come out a very amazing aroma it fills your entire house and it feels like anyone who enter or anyone who comes in the room will notice that yes something is cooking that when the aroma starts coming you know that the cake the, the, the muffin is getting ready so get ready to get it out so at the mark of 18 or 20 minutes depending on different ovens offer different products but those are the ranges you remove the muffins and they will be ready they'll be tender they'll be perfectly brown not burnt not not quite just perfectly brown like a light brown color and of course here because i didn't put so much of the cocoa powder it's just maintained at the light a light brown color i bring them out they look amazing they look yummy it's they smell amazing the aroma is amazing normally my babies this is the time they're like mom can i take one before even they cool so i'm always like you know wait for a few minutes so you set them down they cool for about three minutes are good just to give them a grip so they're not like wobbly they cannot just collapse and then you transfer you serve it on the plate and you test the goodness please try this recipe out you're never gonna stop muffins are one of the amazing baked goods that you can enjoy any time of year you can have it with tea you can have it with coffee you can have it in the morning on breakfast you can have it in the evening tea time in the afternoon it's just one of those things that if you learn how to make it and they basically take about 25 minutes to make they don't take long so you'll enjoy them and please share 
your experience on how you have found this i hope that you can keep with us subscribe please comment let's keep the conversation going i know many of you read these things many of you view our videos but we want more engagement we desire more so we're asking for your comments we're asking for you to subscribe some more and just keep us engaged thank you so much carol living family let's enjoy the muffin